Jaina versus Rexa. What's up, guys? How's it going? Arcanus yes, here, bringing you some you Hearthstone coverage actually this time. Today, we're going to be playing Mech Mage, everyone's favorite thing to play on the ladder, <laughs> or so it seems. Uh, Good what we got in our hand here. I think we're going to keep the Snow Chugger. Uh, Noyotron's good against them, so I think we're going to get rid of the Shredder and Antonitis and pull this. Um, so yeah, I mean, Hearthstone is one of the games I enjoy as well, and I want to bring some coverage. And Mech Mage seems to be the most well-known deck on the ladder, or one of them anyway, at the moment. And I think I'm going to coin Snow Chugger. Um... And I, I wanted to play it to showcase some. I want to do some showcasing of decks, some arena runs, and things like that on my channel as well. And, uh, yeah, so just see if we can do. Um, being that he's Hunter, I can probably safely assume that he's running a face deck or something of the sort since the nerf to Undertaker. So, let's find out what he really has. Something like that, I would have assumed. <laughs> Which means not a bad move at all. So I'm kind of contemplating what to do here. Because he's going to kill this no matter what. I don't want him to get the point off to kill this. So I think I'm going to annoy Otron. And I'm going to kill his knife juggler. Because he could just play something and then get the shield off on my Annoyotron. And then I'd be kind of screwed at that point. Spider tank, okay. Let's see what we draw here. And I draw a spider tank of my own. So I'm going to play that. This deck is really about making efficient trades when you have to, but going face most of the time. I mean, I got two blast mages, which is really good. I got mechs on the board, which is really good. I got Dr. Boom in hand. The infamous Dr. Boom. Dr. Balanced, as they like to call him. Okay. Double Mad Scientist, okay. Alright. Being that he's probably running freezing traps and maybe explosive traps, I'm a little concerned about that. I'm gonna go with the Glass Mage and hope for some good RNG. And it didn't happen. So we're going to kill that. And I'm going to kill his face because he's going to run one of them into my Oyotron already and he's going to run the other one probably into my spider tanks hunter's mark oh he's going to kill it he's going to leave my uh, spider tank Okay. Alright, so I got a Cogmaster. I don't have too much that I can do at the moment. It's kind of the shitty part. <laughs> I can attack, ping, but if this is... If this is Freeze Trap, then that stays on the board and I take some damage, which I don't want to do. But... I think I'm going to do it anyway. Perfect. So what we're going to play instead is a Noyotron, Cogmaster, and we're going to kill this 2-1. If this is similar to the Hunter deck that I used to play, then he's only running two freeze traps and he's not running any explosive traps. Which, that would actually be ideal because I'm just going to put this into it attack with this first because if it freezes that I don't care that's what I can always replay it it's not a big deal Savannah Hyman I think he's counting on the fact that I'm going to attack with this to kill it right away but I'm going to attack with this instead so I need to play a mech so that I can kill him. We're gonna sack that and then we're going to play the Blast Mage. 
just to set me up for something better, because if he doesn't run this into it, I want to have it down, which is perfect enough for me to kill that and hit him with a ping. I do have Antonitis and Dr. Boom hitting my hand. Probably going to be a Dr. Boom turn, maybe, depending on what I draw. I don't have any spare parts, which makes this a little problematic. Because I have no activators for Antoninus. Well, now I do. Okay, so he's going all in. Still have an Annoyatron, which is good, and a Mad Scientist. That's only good. I'm going to Dr. Boom this, I think. Seeing as he's got no cards. So he's either going to go straight for face, which is at 7, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 damage I'm going to take if he goes strictly for face. And he's not. <laughs> so if he was smart, he would attack all into me because he's going to lose his minions anyway. I think that's kind of a critical error there. I mean, he's going to save himself from getting seven damage done to his face, but I don't know. Because all I'm going to do is I'm going to Mad Scientist, make sure that it kills it. That way, when he gets his turn, I'm going to just Mirror Entity his crap. Because that's the only secret that I am running in this deck is Mirror Entity. So, I mean, that's all he kind of had to do. He, he kind of got a crapshoot there with a the Doomsayer. Kind of messed me up a little bit too. Oh, I already have the Mirror Entity right there. So, I think... I just go face with the damage because it's going to kill it anyway and it's going to bomb, bomb lob to him. So I'm going to go face. I'm going to put a mirror entity into place and I'm going to ping him. Two damage, so I mean, that was pretty efficient. If he plays another Savannah High main, then that's just going to be awesome because I'm going to get one too. I think that's what he's considering right now, is what if that is Mirror Entity. And oh, is it? River Crocolisk? Okay. He's got a Dr. Boom of his own. It's a little problematic for us. But the good news is I have a couple things I can do. So let's see here. I mean, I don't want to Antonitis and then give it one attack just strictly to get one fireball in my hand because then he's just going to kill it outright and he trades efficiently for that. So I think I'm going to have to Noyatron. And then I think I'm going to Cogmaster. And then I'm going to Whirling Blades this to get the kill. And then I'm going to ping one. I should have pinged it first, but see? Perfect. <laughs> RNG Jesus is on my side. This puts him in a little bit of a position because he's going to have to ping with that and hope it hits it. And it hits me for three. That's not what he wanted. That can't be what he wanted anyway. Eagle Horn Bow, okay. Well, he's gonna get seven damage into me. And he's got a web spinner. Nine damage, I'm sorry. Okay. And I pull a snow chugger. That's not necessarily good at the moment. Because I don't have anything to stop. 10 damage, 11, 12. He actually wins. That's kind of unfortunate. Because I don't have any spells to play off that, and I can't get any. I don't have any spare parts. Well, looks like we lost game one, but that's okay. <laughs> We're going to go on to game two and just see what happens there, okay, guys? All right, guys, we are on to game two in here, and we are playing against Uther. The paladin here and we're gonna try our look this time see if we can do any better that last game was kind of crappy oh 
See you guys? Optimism. It gets you places. <laughs> okay guys, game 3. Well, 2.5 actually. <laughs> we're going to be playing against Garrosh, so we're going to go up against a warrior. Pretty good hand to have, actually. I do want to keep the Snow Chugger to lock him down. I think he may keep the Noyatron too. Just because if he's got a Fiery War Axe, I want to be able to lock him down. Ooh, Frostbolt and Mech Warper. Okay. I want to be able to lock down that... That Fiery War Axe, because it's super, super good. Fiery War Axe is one of the best weapons in the game. It's what gives Control Warrior kind of its initial spot. Okay, I think we're going to Mech Warper. And then a coin is Snow Chugger. And do I attack? He's going to attack into it anyway. So give me the spare part. We'll save those up for Antonitis. Ooh, and I got emergency coolant. That one's pretty good. <laughs> I like that one. I like the stealth one because then you can just turn eight Antonitis stealth him and then at least you can get another guaranteed one out of his fireball stash he's got there. So in this case, he hasn't played Fiery War Axe, so it leads me to believe he may not have it in his hand. I don't like him having the armor smith because he's going to gain a lot of armor here. So I'm trying to figure out what I should do. Should I just Frostbolt it? But then I have to attack it, and that's not good. So I think the play here is I'm going to attack with that, and I'm going to freeze him. So that in case he does have a weapon, he can't do anything about it. And then I'm going to ping him. We got a couple of answers to a couple of the things he made play. I got a Fireball now. Frostbolt. He's going to execute that, okay. Well, that's one less execute we have to worry about on Lotheb or Antonitis or Dr. Boom now. See, and I'm okay with him hitting me for one damage. That doesn't really bother me. This is so good in the early game against him. If I was him, I probably would have hit it with that and executed this because it's just going to keep him locked out of using any weapons. And he plays Harrison Jones. Okay, we can do a couple different things. I can Frostbolt and ping him, or I can Fireball him. I want to save the Fireball because I believe he's going to have some legendaries other than this in this deck. Alex Straza and a couple other ones to name a few, maybe even the Sneeds version of Control Warrior. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let him gain the armor. Because I'm just going to take it off anyway and freeze him. So let's see what he plays. I'm curious. I mean, we do have mechs in play, so Goblin Blast Mage is possible next turn along with a ping. I have the Fireball, I can freeze something, and I even have Lotheb. Which I might play next turn to prevent him from brawling or... You know, seeing that early brawl go on or something, I don't know. Looks like he is saving his cards for something. Maybe he's trying to bait me into, into the brawl. It's probably a good idea <laughs> not to play into that. So I'm going to just play one more creature. Ping. And then the turn. I got a finicky cloak field, which is really good. So if I pull Antonitis, at least we, he, we can guarantee two fireballs out of him. Which may be the best thing ever right now, because he may have a lot of big creatures in this deck. See, there's a the Brawl. I didn't want him getting the Blast Mage or the Anoyatron. Chugga didn't make it, but my 4-4 did. I'm okay with that. Alright, so he's bound to have a weapon by now. Uh, at least I'm assuming so. So I think I'm going to play Anoyatron. And I'm going to play Lotheb now, too put the pressure on him and keep him from using any spells that is against me. At least another brawl that is. There's the Ragnaros. I was waiting for that. Hit me in the face. That's probably not exactly what he wanted. So let's see what I have here, what I can do. I can blast mage, but I do have to hit him for two or one. Should we risk it? Let's risk it, guys. 
Okay. Oh, we got the two. All right, so it's not over yet. He can play another brawl. Um, I know some decks of the control where that do run two brawls. The one that I play doesn't. It has one in it, but I'm curious to see what he might play. We have a pretty strong board. He'd have to play some sludge belters, and even then, I don't think he wins. <laughs> He's got to find a way to armor up. Shield block maybe might help him. Shield block and a taunt. Keep him alive for another turn to find out if he can get a, like another brawl or something to do damage. See, last turn I was either going to do exactly what I did or a mirror entity in case something he played was another big creature. But I think this works out better because he's in a very... he's in, I'm in lethal position. I can kill him next turn if he doesn't do something. Or have the right amount or the right mixture of cards in his deck. Let's break some coconuts and some vines while we wait. Set some fires. Let's see what he does. Maybe he's got nothing. Maybe he's just planning on conceding, or maybe he got disconnected. Who knows? Maybe he had to get up and throw the trash away. Oh, he did get disconnected. Well, I can't say that I was going to win for sure, but it pretty much looked like it, I know. <laughs> well, thanks guys for watching. I'm going to do more of these in the future. Typically, I'm going to play three games. As you saw, one of them kind of got cheated, so sorry about that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make more videos on diff displaying different decks and display them here and show you guys some content um, because I do enjoy playing Hearthstone, and I know some of you guys like to see different things. I know you guys probably don't want to see any more Mech Mage, so I promise I won't do any more of that, but uh, <laughs> until next time, guys, uh, like, favorite the video, subscribe, please. It really does help me out. Uh, but until I talk to you next time, later, guys.